we get started, first of all, a solar flare just hit us, which is not the best thing in the world, but we can get ourselves around that, no problems. However, I did do a quick restart from my last episode and managed to get that final dock on the bottom of the station. So the station now has the four docks, two on one side and two on the other. Uh, sorry, no, two on one node and two on the other node. So now all four angles are covered by our docking stations. Excellent stuff. Well, let's move on to today's episode where we're going to basically crew our research vessel and um yeah let's get it going because i'd rather get the uh research going so we can earn some credits and then we can start giving back money stations and hopefully producing some uh, production as well on a small scale so we're gonna need where's us that's our server room so we've got six rooms available and we have five research desks and one doctor what we're gonna need now as I'm going to set this as NATO for now, because it's obviously the most countries in that speak different languages, which is kind of cool. So it owes to its name of the ISS. However, um, it also makes it a little bit easier when it comes to feeding them, because the first food that we can produce will be European. So I'm going to hire European staff. That's where I'm from as well, which is kind of cool. So right now, we don't need any industrial, we don't need a cafe, we don't need mining, we do need one for the hospital. And we need five researchers. Two, or five researchers. I'm going to go ahead and hire them. That does mean we've got two chairs short if all of our staff stop doing stuff. So we need to keep an eye out. Because obviously they will start to request seating areas. Um, and I just I don't think I've got enough room to fit everything on. Um, we might be able to. I don't know if the hallway that we've got here will accept seating. Give it a try. Why it's trying to rotate that way around. There we go. Let's try and see if we can put some seating in it. It might be able to. We'll put a vending machine in. Oh, it can. I'm feeling this. Oh, it's magnetic. So it's magnetic. It only gives us certain chairs. That's fine. What we'll do is, is we'll basically place seating like so. Did I just use extra two chairs? So we'll put an extra two chairs in. We've got chairs available. Right. Let's release so that our crew can start arriving. Again, let's have a look at what research we've got. So. Explore nanobots, explore low gravity plant adaptation. We need to do both of them, hopefully. Uh, we've also got bio repository. We've got things like nanobots here. Can we sign that one? And that one? We can, yes. Anybody else want to do nanobots? We've got one day to complete it. By a repository as well. So, where's our nanobots? Go. So it has been set for the nanobots. So let's get our crew up and arriving. There they are. Does look like power is going to. Yes, we're going to struggle with power. So it looks like we don't have enough batteries for our power supply. So what I'm going to do is um or we batteries. Let's go ahead and get a three. Um, oh. That's obviously going to arrive afterwards, but hopefully we won't be too long in the dark. Now we're getting a recharge. It's saying not enough energy to cover current needs of the colony. Build more generators. Our staff have arrived. So let's go ahead and get our research here. Let's assign our staff. One, two, three, four, five. And then the medical bay hospital. There we go. Okay, so we're saying that we've got a full recharge, which I, I think it's going to be the problem with the batteries. We should hopefully see research production rate 100%.
production isn't a major thing for us at the moment. But once that dock's complete, we should hopefully have battery power. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place batteries here. Because I'm going to basically place another set of um, solar panels later down the line. While we're at it, I also want to see if we can actually build the other side. Yes. We can. One, two, three, four. I think it was four that we placed the last time. I'll just double check. It might have only been three. Looks like it was four. when I can get it. it. It likes to rotate with the station. And since it's pitch black, I can't see the bloody station. Where are you? Oh, that's spinny. Come on, daytime. And I can see my station properly. Where are you? Station seems to have disappeared. Uh huh. Oh, that's horrible. Okay, if we do this, hoping we can then go back. Uh, what's that telling me? It's telling me that we're having struggles with research here. And computer components. Right, where is the station? There you are. Station. Set. Okay, right, let's try and do that again. So... One, two, three, four. Good. Right. So if we go on four, four. Excellent. This construction for now. Right. That should hopefully give us enough power. Right. So we're on eight percent for both. So we're going to have to uh, increase both our research components because they're just basically doing it so fast. There's five of them working in there. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's, let's add some more consoles. Uh, they don't use the consoles, but I'm just going to try and do this. Set another one behind. And get a fourth one in there. Prefer to get a fourth one in there. Can. Can. Disassemble. Um, Have you uh have you go behind? Yes, excellent, good, right, that's what we can do. Um it may not work for all of them, but we'll give it a go. I feel like some of them are quite right, but growing up a little bit now. This is gonna take a lot of like component stuff to have it fully operational. There's just that many of them working, you see, so. Um, and we actually haven't got any more stuff, so. That'll do for now. Can we get any more? Uh, server room. Yes, we can get some more servers in here. I'm quite surprised the server room isn't um, a little bit more powerful than it actually is. We can improve these at a later stage with, obviously, research. Get better computer systems, stuff like that. All right, we're completely out. We need more electronic stuff. I'm not overly worried about this because you can see the research is just flying by. This is just basically um, what they want in terms of like being the most efficient. So I'm not too overly worried. Excellent conditions are met for two. So what we're doing now, we're doing bio repositories. Let's just make sure we haven't got anything for export tissue and nano sensors. Um, synthetic meat, large side carbon, and we can't do the other two. So let's do the bio repository. Completing that. That's that's super fast that. Really fast, which is good for us. Um 
so now that we've got research going obviously once they're finished they'll go ahead and they'll they'll start working for us i'm gonna put the rest up slightly just slightly they'll rest more than they work which means hopefully they'll be happier now we've got a couple of things we need to keep an eye on our co2 levels are going to increase which we're going to hopefully resolve on our next stage of system of the station but right now we've got a lunar ship that we need to sort out and we've got a contract ship that we need to sort out we can't send either ship off because we've got no liquid fuel however we can get them both going so the first thing i'm going to do is get the lunar ship going so right now all i need is a place for my person to sit in and for me to launch it basically that's all i'm going to need i am going to just launch everything to this station but obviously i need better storage we now have better storage see however these are still only plus one to our storage supply so the first thing i'm going to do is build my disc we go to our construction go to our habitat section add to cart go to our buy order all I want is to launch this ship. That's it. Launch it to the moon orbit. And then we can resolve any problems it has when it arrives there. Because then we'll have a connection to moon. Which then means we can start our colony. Which is what we're going to be aiming to do. So that's that one sorted. We're going to do the same for the Japan contract ship. The exact same thing. We're going to order the components we need for our habitat module. I want to build as little as possible on this ship, basically. Now, the cost saving part of this is, is that I'm basically going to have a lot of resources on my Earth orbit, uh, ISS station, and it means I can just ferry them across. That's the, that's the main goal that we're going to have. So, whilst that's doing that, let's have a look at what we can stock up on, ready to go. So we've got plenty of storage space we're going to need a lot of components we're going to need a lot of lighting we're going to need cables motors all that kind of stuff electronics especially because we're using a lot of electronics so let's go ahead and make some order let's go ahead and get three thousand for now um electronics are expensive so we'll just get a thousand electronics um food supply is absolutely fine Cabling, we'll get 500 more cabling. We're going to need a lot of bulbs. Let's go ahead and get 3,000 bulbs, 2,000 mortars. The heat resistant components we need for our thrusters, we'll get another 500 of you. Uh, solar cells are fine at the moment. We need some more optics. Let's go ahead and get 2,000 optics, 2,000 polymer. And I think that should do us for now. I think we don't need anything else. We'll, we'll top up on oxygen thousand oxygen i think that should do us eight shuttles that's going to take at nearly 20 million credits well that's you know that's a, that's expensive for the shuttles for each one but we'll hopefully get that dropped down with our research sooner rather than later research is going really well uh, it'll give us a new component which we need to look into uh, as a matter of fact can actually replace one of our holes do i replace the hole with because we need bio which we don't have at the moment i don't think no we don't i'm thinking that we replace the four here with um well we'll keep one hole and then three for the bio let's see if i can remove three of these one two three i can good i won't be able to remove that final piece because that's connecting everything else to it when I mean, this is going to look awesome now we're going to have four ships docking at our station just speed it up a little bit 
That's pretty awesome. That's an awesome job. That allows us to get all the supplies we need. Oh, we've still got four waiting for us. Just bring this up. Right. Research is 69%. Looks like they're on a rest. Vegetables. Not too much of a worry for us at the moment. We should complete the rest of that research once they all wake up. They're currently uh, asleep right now. While they're doing that, let's move on over to our two ships that we've got. Um, it's got the shuttle already. Let's go to the lunar one that's probably already had the shuttle supplies. It has. Excellent. Let's go ahead and place our new disk module. Excellent stuff. Right. The next thing for us here is to get some supplies for our... We're going to need liquid and gases. That's all we're going to need. Um... It should be enough, I think. So we're going to need some components here. We're also going to need, um, obviously, some oxygen and some bulbs. Now, the good thing about this is, is we can send whatever we want from our other station, because we can just send it back. And it's already full already. Wow. Definitely need more storage. I'm hoping that one of the researches we do will give us better storage. All right. Got to chuck in some storage here for now. Just chuck a lot of storage in. I'm going to remove most of this anyway, so there we go. Don't need to worry too much. It's like people have just dumped all their crap in there now. There we go. A bit better, isn't it? Right, let's go ahead and send some stuff over. So. We want to send it to our lunar ship first. So we're going to send over uh, 300 components, 200 bulbs, 200 oxygen for now. Uh, we're going to need thrusts. So I'm going to send, uh, we'll send over 200 uh, heat, and compo resistant, heat resistant components. Um, we're going to need polymer, so we'll send over 200 polymer. Um, we're going to need some rations for our people to stay alive. Or a person to stay alive, it'll probably be one person and we'll send over some optics in case. Over to our lunar ship. Now we're going to send over to our chip chip pan ship again, roughly. I think of the same, but we're going to need some work for them as well. Um, oh, we're also going to need some mortars as well. Uh, I can't remember what the thrust was, so I'll send that over. Um, I don't know if I sent CO2 or oxygen. I'm hoping I sent oxygen. Uh, we'll send 30 rations over. Oh. oh yeah I did send oh I didn't send any electronics or optics send very I can send back what I don't use right so this is going to have a lot of shuttles coming back and forward now and it's going to continue with the research, which it's just done. There you go. Biorepository is complete, which now means we've got the um, little doobly da there. Which means we should now have... Uh, no, we don't have it yet. But we're going to have to select research. Well, let's see what we've got first in terms of research. Run research. Safe nuclear energy. Or nan uh, composite nano material. I think there's a couple that want composite nano material. Double check. Oh no, I pressed the wrong button there. Uh, large side carbon nano structures. So, Let's see which one runs out. Uh, no, engineer. Right, let's see which one we want. Synthetic makes, mechanical, tissue engineering, low planet. 
Nano sensors. We definitely want that for more space. Uh, safe nuclear energy would be nice as well. Uh, I'm thinking we do large size carbon nanostructures. Was review? Was it China? Oh, Europe. Free money is free money at the end of the day. Um, what my concern is is why I've not got. I, I may be losing the plot here, but we should have a way to have. Let's double check. I've not lost my will to live. Asteroid uh, recreation area, warehouse, power plant, which we're going to need soon. Docks lab prepared. We we should have um, waste recycling, which I'm wondering if I've made an idiot of myself and have not got it unlocked somehow. I think it's because our staff haven't actually eaten yet. Why haven't our staff not eaten yet? Hunger. Let's just double check. I'm going to double check and make sure that we've actually got accessible food for them. I'm going to be in the apartments. So. Well, as I can tell, they've got access, accessible food. Is he going to go over to the vending machine? No, he's not. Oh. No, he's just going to go into his room. Let's just try and fast forward a little. I'm not sure why they're not actually having food. I mean, their hunger levels are getting higher, so... You'd think they'd have food now. I wonder if I can move you. I'll place you there for a second. Can we have you this way? See if that works. Then I'm going to remove that. And I'm going to place chairs dead. There we go, two chairs. Place in the right way. Did I put the right one in? Yeah, I put the right one in. Another one in there. His hunger. I'm really concerned about his hunger levels. We've definitely got rations. Oh, there we go. They're now eating. Good stuff. So now we might get the uh, bio... Um, the, got the bio waste. So now have we got access to... Spinning, all the spinning. Now build. Drop you down, drop you down. Open up my construction. I still don't see. Hmm. Is it industrial, possibly? Not to be accessed. Just double check that. I'm just going to add that to that. Nope, it's definitely not that. I don't think it was. I think I'm I'm doing something wrong here and I can't work out what it is. I'm not gonna worry too much. But oh that's spinning. Right. Research is nearly complete. 
Japan contract ship is full of storage because we sent all the crap to it. Let's go ahead and uh, build what we want to build. There we go. How many people is this for for this construction? Let's just double check what it is uh, for six people. So that's perfect for us because um, what I'm going to do is build for six people. Run research. Excellent. Let's uh, let's just pause there a second. I want to run another research. Let's have a look at what we got. Um, composite nanomaterials. I'm pretty sure. Oh, we got safe. Pretty sure we got a couple of uh, researches for that. Uh, nano sensors. I'm almost certain. Apparently not. May not. We may have lost it. Well, I'm still going to do it. Composite nano material. Double checking. I'm not missing. Everything else looks absolutely fine. Um, yeah, let's run that. More research being completed, which is nice. Uh, so yeah, so we're going to have apartments, and then we're going to need jobs. Um, the best one I found for jobs was just basically putting... Well, the repair desk is quite expensive, um, so I was actually putting uh, medical... Why have I got no access to medical? Labs, our warehouse, the living quarters on. There we go, that's the medical. So that's six living quarters. Go ahead and place medical bay here, or a hospital, whichever one you want to call it. There we go. Nice big hospital. Six people. Make sure there's space for six. Uh, what we're running out of. O2. Need more O2. Fine. Get the apartments fixed up first. And we can create some space. Uh, we need interior doors. I'm not really fussed about which doors they are. Let's give them somewhere to sleep. Remember, this is literally a station you're going to give away, so you want to spend, hopefully, as little as possible. Now, I, I haven't looked at what's the most bang for buck, should I say. Um, I've been toying around with, like, building medical bays and building um, drone repair bays and stuff like that. Well, I say drone repair bays. I obviously mean uh, robot repair bays. Um, the medical seems to be decent in terms of cost. Because it's it's... It seems to be, I mean, we're using electrical components um, and polymers and stuff like that, but it does seem to be the better one of the two, I think. Um, and then all I do to finish off is I'll put another hallway on there. Um, whilst we've got here, let's, let's go ahead and add our fuel tanks and thrusters and stuff like that. So all I do is add fuel tanks here. Or well, these are technically not fuel tanks, they're liquid and oxygen. Liquid and gas tanks. Uh, how much thrust did they ask for? Uh, 42 thrust with a delta V of um, 5%. I think, if I remember correctly, that should be two, two thrusters. Chemical thrusters when it lets me put it. Uh, I've just put the wrong body thing on. Them. Chemical engines. One place anyway. Two. It's going to give us a thrust of forty-five kilonewtons, which reaches our forty-two target, and we don't have any delta V because we've got no fuel, because uh, obviously it's uh, power to rate ratio and all that kind of juicy stuff. Uh, we don't need anything else in terms of physical components. We need uh, just a little um, hallway here that I'm going to put on, and uh, obviously to finish the hospital off as well. So for that we're going to need oxygen and we're going to need, I believe it was, polymer, yes. So let's, uh, we've got the apartments done. What have we got that we don't need anymore? Let's send back some stuff here. Uh, so we don't need these anymore. So we've got 116 of you to go back. Um, 
spend 100 of you back for now. Cable, we didn't use any cable, which is nice. Um, I'll send back most of them. Uh, electronics, we'll keep hold of for now. Send 100 of you back. Actually, we'll send 100 of you back because we're obviously not using that much. And we just need some oxygen. So let's go ahead and send that back, which will clear up some space. We then need to go over to ours and hopefully be able to send over some uh, some oxygen. Oxygen is the only thing we're short on. Yes, and it will take it because oxygen obviously comes tanks. So let's. Oh no, we don't want to buy. We've already got it. Send over. Uh, we'll send over 150. Uh, yeah, 150 oxygen. I should do. Then over to the Japan contract ship because I was sending it to the wrong one. Go. My research is on zero. Why are we on zero for research? Interesting. Lunar ship. Let's head on back over to the lunar ship and see what we've got. Okay. Our lunar ship construction. We're going to need some more liquid and gas storage. Go. Um, we are going to need thrusters, but I need electrical components. I didn't realize. Again, we're going to need, uh, I'm going to do a hallway here. It lets me go over here. So this will be for our uh, apartments. This will be for um, various other bits and bobs, and this will be for the medical bay. Um, grab our apartments. Again, I don't need this many, but I've got the resources here. I'm going to do it now, so then I've done it. Uh, we can't do anything else because we're going to need some components. Uh, we need components, uh, mortars, and stuff like that. Um, let's go ahead and head back here. We need some more oxygen as well, I've just noted. Right. So, again, we're going to send over 300 components. 200 oxygen and we'll send over 200 motors as well um oh we needed some electronics go and over to the lunar ship happy days we're paused that's why it's not doing anything i wonder why it wasn't doing anything there we go research has now begun a nice little spin there on our station station's looking really good now and I like the fact that I've now been able to have this section completed as well. What we wanted to do. You see, we got Schultz inbound again. There we go. Two shuttles are docking already and two more are already inbound. I do like the quality of um, graphics for like the shuttles and stuff like that. They look pretty awesome. Um, I don't think they change throughout the game. I think they are literally the only ones you see, which is a shame. I'd, I'd have thought like, you know, if when you've done your research and you get a little bit more upgrade on your engines and stuff, it might improve the look of these. It's one of them. Right, so we've got two days left for our research. We've got three days left of our um, colony ship and our... Co uh, sorry, our contract ship. And the contract ship is almost complete as well. Let's go ahead and speed things up a little bit. And then we'll uh, shortly finish off once we've uh, done the last bits that we just spoke about. We've got shuttles arriving at the other stations now. There we go. See the Japan contract ship has now cleared some space. We still can't buy any fuel at the moment. I'm not too worried about that. Have a look and see what we've got here. So we are still short on the oxygen that we need. Ship hasn't arrived yet. Fast forward things a little bit. There we go. The crisis has been defeated by joint efforts. Liquid fuel is available for purchase again. Excellent. There we go. It is now docked. 
thought. That's now released, so we can now finish off what we were doing, which is our last hospital medical. Let's head on into there. So, how many have we got again? Six members, so we're going to need six medical bays, which... I... Did I not send the polymer? I think I sent the polymer. I may not have sent the polymer. I did not send the polymers. I'm an idiot. So, send over the polymer. When it loads up for me, there we go. Send over to our Japan contract ship. 200 polymer. Whilst we're here, we'll also order our fuel. So I'm going to order... I'm going to order 5,000. Which is going to be extremely expensive for us. But we need the fuel. Once we do some more research, that fuel cost will come down. And my next stage of the station will also produce fuel for us. Because fuel is one of them where it just costs so much. That we want to try and get down the cost of that nicely. Then we're not spending as much to release chips into the orbit. And then we can uh, save a bit more money and make more money. Um... Since we've got a few things to move over and it takes a little bit of time, we'll call it there and we'll finish off. We'll uh, hand over the Japan contract ship on the next episode. We'll send our lunar ship over to the moon, uh, or at least have it ready to go over to the moon. And then, yeah, we should be uh, looking in a bit more of a better position and we can upgrade the station into our next stage. So, that'll be us for this episode. Until next time, everybody, take care for now, and I shall see you all on the next one. Bye-bye for now.